Greetings and welcome to Pop Culture Beasts Halloween Horror Picks, the show where I recommend off the beaten path horror movies for your Halloween movie night. I'm your host, Ryan Stockstead, and today we're going to talk about a notorious Italian exploitation film that's also one of the most outrageous nature run amok horror movies ever made. Wild Beasts, 1984, tells the story of a northern European city terrorized by rampaging zoo animals. It stars Lorraine Desel, Luisa Lloyd, Hugo Bologna, and Antonio De Leo, who is credited as John Aldrich. Genre fans will recognize Lorraine Desel from SS Extermination Love Camp, House on the Edge of the Park, and Cannibal Ferox. The movie opens on a montage of saxophone music and shots of dirty water and discarded syringes before cutting to a quote attributed to somebody named Francis Thrive. That's really just a thinly veiled reference to the film's director, Franco Prosperi. Our madness engulfs everything and infects innocent victims such as children or animals. It sounds like something Charles Manson would say. And there are people who think that Prosperi was as much a monster as Charlie ever was. This is in part because actual animals were killed on screen for the movie, namely some rats who were burned alive with a flamethrower. This is par for the course for Italian horror movies of the 70s and early 80s, but we all remember Cannibal Holocaust. Thankfully, the scene is over quickly, but it's still utterly detestable. They're getting them under control now. Fire is the only way to kill them. Water wasn't enough. Daisel plays a reporter who's far too busy to care for her daughter, Susie, while Aldrich plays her hunky jerk of a boyfriend. He's an animal doctor who works at the zoo, but his bedside manner leaves much to be desired. But there's still this one. Yeah, that little bastard. <laughs> Cute, huh? Apparently, the animals are especially agitated this day, and Aldrich wants to know why. Eventually, he discovers that somebody has poisoned the city's water supply with a violence-inducing quantity of PCP. And when the animals lap it up, they go crazy. Hey, Pasha, you sick? What's the matter, you nervous? Are you? Well, calm down now and go to sleep. Hey, Collie. What is it with you? Why are you acting this way? Simmer down. When the zoo's electronic cage doors fail, all the animals escape. Now, no one in the city is safe from the rampage of stampeding cattle, tigers, and elephants. especially the children of Susie's dance class, who find themselves at the feeding end of a drug-crazed polar bear. Ah! 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 
There's not a single likable character in the movie, at least not among the primary cast, especially Aldrich, who plays a boorish, arrogant sexist who swaggers from one animal attack to the next. By the end of the movie, your only hope is that one of the beasts knocks that mustache off his smug face. Hey, how are you, old man? Be careful. I'll get a gun. No, no, he's okay. Hey, what's the matter? Too hot here for you? No, no, he'll be all right. Now, what's the matter? You feel bad? Hey! You're crazy, Rip. Hey, hey that's no way to behave. So special squad gets huh? here. Let them handle it. We're friends. What's the matter, boy? Be good now. There's a scene in which a cheetah chases after a VW bug while Aldrich tries to shoot it while hanging out of a speeding car. It's easily one of the greatest things I've ever seen in a movie. We're swaying too much. I'm afraid I might hit the woman. Seriously, this movie is insane. What it lacks in plot and likable characters, it makes up for in wall-to-wall, -wall, off the charts, violence, chaos, and anarchy. Wild Beasts would stand as the most insane animal attack movie ever made if it weren't for the 1981 film Roar, in which multiple cast and crew, including Tippi Hedren, Melanie Griffith, and cinematographer Yann de Bont, were all seriously mauled by lions. As it turns out, second place is still really damn crazy. No! No! <laughs> Franco Prosperi considered this a minor film when compared to his larger body of work. And I agree, but only because he made some of my all-time favorite documentaries and exploitation films, including Mondo Cane, Mondo Pazzo, Women of the World, Africa Adio, and Goodbye Uncle Tom, all of which you can and should pick up on the Mondo Cane collection by Blue Underground. <laughs> If you're looking to watch an absolutely fearless horror movie this Halloween that's also completely bonkers, my recommendation is Wild Beasts. I'm coming, you ball buster! In February of 2017, Severin released Wild Beasts on DVD and Blu-ray, complete with a bunch of interviews and special features. You should definitely pick this up. Thanks for watching Pop Culture Beasts Halloween Horror Picks. I'm your host, Ryan Stockstead. This season, we're devoting all Monday episodes to part two horror sequels. So be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe right here on the Pop Culture Beast YouTube channel for new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday through Halloween. Thanks again for watching. Watch horror movies. I'll see you next time.